On April 2nd, Lisa shared with her fans some exciting journeys she had in the early part of 2024. Firstly, she revealed more about her small but cozy house worth 75 billion won, along with her dog Love and her cat Lily. Additionally, Lisa showcased her dream-worthy collection of supercar. In her latest Instagram post, despite deliberately concealing it with an exclusive L Loud bag, fans couldn't help but notice her new Audi R8. Earlier, she also dazzled fans by introducing her extremely limited edition Mercedes Guaygon Mansory with gold custom interior. However, her supercar collection doesn't stop there. A close friend of Lisa's in Thailand, who is also the owner of Men Car Collector, confirmed the sale of a black Lamborghini to Lisa and arranged for it to be airlifted to Korea for her. Moreover, Lisa is also rumored to own both a Rolls-Royce Phantom and a Rolls-Royce Ghost. Meanwhile, after a lavish birthday party in Thailand with family and friends, Lisa headed to Japan for an undisclosed schedule. On March 28th, a lucky fan spotted Lisa at New New Tokyo International Airport, located in Narita City, Chiba Prefecture, Tokyo. Photos shared on Instagram on March 2nd showed Lisa visiting the Azabude Hills Complex in the Toranamon Business District of Minato Ward, which is approximately 70 kilometers from Narita Airport, to explore the Team Lab Borderless Digital Art Museum. She was also said to have visited the tallest building in Japan, Azabudai Hills Mori JP Tower, which offers a fantastic view of other city landmarks such as the Tokyo Tower. While everyone wondered about the real reason for Lisa's hasty trip to Japan, a leaked photo of Lisa and Frederick Arnault leaving a restaurant in Tokyo quickly went viral. In this leaked photo, Lisa was seen sporting the same hairstyle, the rose coat, Louis Vuitton's bag, and even the same high heels as in a recent photo she shared herself, while Fred wore shoes similar to those he wore a few days ago when he appeared in the high-end commercial area of Ginza Chuo City, just about four kilometers from Azabudai Hills. Not only that, on April 2nd, Japanese Dispatch, a media site Shukan Bunshin, suddenly announced they would share big news the following day, hinting that a member of a popular K-pop girl group is seriously dating and they have photos to prove it. However, the truth may be far from what meets the eye. I won't analyze whether this dating photo has been edited as it's difficult to make accurate judgments with low resolution images, although some have noticed that the heel on the shoe is missing despite Lisa supposedly wearing high heels and there are no shadows. But I want to point out that Shukan Bunshin has been exposed before when reporting that Les Seraphim Kim Chaewon had a boyfriend in January 2023, using a photoshopped image provided by a fan. Furthermore, not only Fred, but also his father Bernald Arnault and his sister Delphine Arnault were spotted in Ginza, and later they were seen in Shinjuku City, about seven kilometer away, exchanging something on the streets. When connecting the dots, the cities of Minato, Chuo, and Shinjuku all have in common being areas with the largest Louis Vuitton stores in Tokyo metropolis. Surely, the Arnault family came here to prepare for a major Louis Vuitton event. It's no coincidence that Lisa posted photos with Louis Vuitton bags in her recent posts. If you pay attention, there's a photo of her taken at LV The Place Bangkok, and even another one at a dinner party in February before filming White Lotus. Why would she dig up an old photo from almost two months ago to repost if it's not related to the upcoming event? In my opinion, it's highly likely that Louis Vuitton will soon announce Lisa as their global ambassador in Tokyo. What do you think about this? Meanwhile, it seems that Lisa is not only preparing for a major Louis Vuitton Vuitton event, but also for her new music. In a post on April 2nd, Lisa was spotted at the Larrabee Recording Studio in LA in February, where Rosalia's Motomami was mixed and produced. Previously in a video celebrating her 27th birthday, Lisa also confirmed that she is preparing for a full-length solo album and expressed her dream of collaborating with Tila and Rosalia. Therefore, just like with the Louis Vuitton event, when Lisa hints at something, it means it's approaching very soon. What do you think about this? Meanwhile, after New One exclusively reported that Jenny's first solo album will be released in June this year, her agency, Aude Atelier, immediately responded. They stated that Jenny is working on music, but a release date has not been discussed yet, so stay tuned for further updates.